My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church. I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is November the 3rd. We're looking forward to another marvelous day, and I do hope that you will come and join us to be a part. I do the video for this first Sunday in November, often around the columbarium, because it is a reminder that this is the day we celebrate All Saints Day. The day that we pause and surround with our prayers, the families of those who have lost loved ones who are either members or regular attenders here at Unity Presbyterian Church, those who have passed from this life into the life eternal. It is important as a part of our witness to the good hope we share in the resurrection that we do to pause and, and celebrate this day each and every year. And we'll do it this Sunday, both services, 845 and 11 o'clock. If you can't join us in person, please do join us online. That celebration will take part as uh, it will be a part of our celebration of communion um, on Sunday at both services. We'll celebrate this week by passing the plates um, in the pews. And so I do hope that you will join us as a part of this particular moment of recognition and prayer and support um, as a part of All Saints Day as we celebrate communion this week. I'll be preaching from Psalm 24. I will be thinking about who is the King of Glory part of what we expect and anticipate and celebrate with All Saints Day. It's also one of the things that we remind ourselves of as we go to the polls this coming Tuesday on November the 5th about who is the King of Glory and where do we put our trust and our hope in the midst of uh, our engagement with and participation in a political process. Uh, two other things for Sunday before we talk about what's coming up after that. First is that it's a time change Sunday. It's a fallback day for us, so be sure to set your clocks back on Saturday night, uh, so you'll be on time for the uh, for worship and Sunday school and everything else on Sunday. You get an extra hour of sleep this week. Um, it's also peanut butter and jelly Sunday, first Sunday of the month. Every month for us is a chance to bring particular items for the Fort Mill Care Center. Thanks to all of you who are a part of the Sharing God's Bounty food collection for the Fort Mill Care Center over the course of the month of October. We raised we brought in more than 1,400 pounds of food just in the month of October that will go to feed hungry families, but that need continues. And so I invite you, if you're able, to continue to be a part of our food collections um, on the first Sunday of every month. Also, um, thinking about the ways in which we might serve, we have um, the opportunity to be a witness to our community of our prayers as we surround uh, this election and various candidates um, with our prayers on election day on Tuesday, November the 5th. Sanctuary will be open uh, just for time for personal prayer. No particular service, no particular organization of a time of prayer. It'll be open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. just to surround that entire day for our community, our state, and our nation uh, with our prayers. Invite you to invite, invite you to welcome your friends, to pass that invitation on to neighbors and uh, family, others who might be a part of uh, coming and, and finding an opportunity just to pray on election day. Our sanctuary again open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. on that particular day. We also want to say thanks for the ways in which you have been helpful in, um, in extending God's love and care into our community. We do that in all kinds of different ways. Uh, we've got the next blood drive coming up on Tuesday, November the 12th, so I hope that you're signed up for that. We're in the midst of collection of items for cleanup buckets that go to those experiencing natural disasters. You can find a list of those items on the website or through that Amazon uh, wish list. We do hope that all those items will be delivered to here by the church by uh, by this coming Sunday, by November the 3rd, which allows us to make sure that we have time to, to get any additional items that we might need before packing those buckets together as a congregation. We invite you to be a part of that. Um, families, children, um, adults, everyone, on uh, Sunday, November the 10th, we'll do the packing in the fellowship hall following the uh, 11 o'clock service that day. So come and be a part of that particular time and that particular witness of God's love for us as well. If you've not gotten an email from me with a link to participate in um, in a work trip uh, to uh, do hurricane relief in various communities and with conjunction with various churches, please reach out to me to do that. Um, if you're interested in being a part of that work, we are trying to match our particular interests and gifts and skills and time with the particular needs in various communities. We're in the process of putting all that together and I um, just invite you to let me know if you'd like to be a part of that work together. All of these things, ways in which God is leading us, challenging us, helping us to grow together as a part of God's story and our stories, joining them 
in this work of witness and of worship and faith. So come and join us this Sunday. Be a part of all that God is doing here at Unity Presbyterian Church. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you then.